So I just caught uh, the question period in the House of Commons today, and I watched uh, MP Raquel Danto uh, stand up for me, which was amazing to see, and I'm really thankful for her support. Canadian Sarah Campbell has been battling thyroid cancer for months and needs her UK fiancé by her side, but they have been separated due to the border closures. Sarah has written 123 letters to Liberal cabinet ministers asking for a compassionate exemption, and when she finally received a response, it was nothing but a cold-hearted, useless letter from the department. The minister didn't even have the decency to sign it himself. There are thousands of Canadians, just like Sarah, who are being completely ignored by this Liberal government, and they deserve answers. Will families be reunited in October, yes or no? Um, she was referring to this letter. So I have written, handwritten, over 123 letters to government officials, including um, Minister Marco Mendocino, who is the Minister of IRCC. And I have received one reply back, and this was it. It is a list of hyperlinks addressed to Dear Correspondent. And that's it. So Ms. Dancho confronted him in the House about this and, you know, mentioned some of the details of my case, including my full name. And uh, Mr. Mendocino's response was to refer to me by the wrong name. He referred to me as Miss Wallace. With regards to the case involving uh, Ms. Wallace, of course, we are sympathetic. We know that there are some families who have not yet been able to reunite, but that is because we are taking decisions at the border to protect the health and safety of Canadians throughout this pandemic, which is our paramount concern. Uh, I'm a little bit speechless. Um, was he not listening at all to what Ms. Dancho was saying when she referred to me as Sarah Campbell? I guess not, and I guess he hasn't read any of my letters. So that is pretty disappointing to see.